I'm trying to find some nice. Ooh, that's actually a really nice shot. Hi. So I've been gone for a while and it's because there's been a lot of things happening over the last couple of weeks and frankly I've just needed a break. So I'm back now and today we'll be looking at the Fanta Canmara. Wait dude, can you just get a photo of us real quick? Oh, for sure. Now you've probably seen Grainy Days and Negative Feedbacks video on the Budweiser camera and these are very similar. If you haven't seen the videos, I'll link them down below. They're great and you'll see a lot of good photo examples from them. However, there are two main differences between this one and the Budweiser. So number one, it says Fanta on it. And number two, mine doesn't have a flash on it. There'd normally be a flash up here, and mine doesn't have it. So if you're going to buy one, make sure you check that out, because not having it kind of takes away the whole party element, and I was pretty frustrated when I found out mine didn't have it, but I guess that just means that I'm going to have to push, like, Lomo 800 to 1600, or, God forbid, 3200. But aside from that, it's an incredible design. Now to shoot, you flip open the side of the tab on the shaft to expose the lens and viewfinder. And then there's a little sneaky shutter button, perfectly where your index finger would sit when you're holding the camera. Now to load the film, you press and hold the button on the bottom of the can, and then dig your nails into the back of wherever you can pry it open. Next you load the film in, and put the film leader in the take-up spool on the left. Now here's the best part. Close the back, and crank the rim of the can. Phenomenal, I know. And then just when you thought it couldn't get any better, to rewind it, you crack open the tab on the top and reverse crank the rim. Whoever designed this, I really hope is now a millionaire because they really deserve it. Now let's get into the user experience. It's amazing. There's some cameras that just make you want to shoot and this is definitely one of them. It's also probably around an F8 aperture, so I'd probably suggest sticking around 400 to 800 ISO film on a really sunny day, you can get away with 100 or 200, but I'd probably, just to be safe, stay around the 400-800. Also, the viewfinder is mismatched to the lens, so when you're taking photos, there's going to be a lot of headroom and negative space around the top of your frame if you go by what the actual viewfinder looks like. So generally, when I'm taking photos with it, I'll take my framing in my viewfinder, and then I'll just kind of aim my camera down a little bit, and then take my photo, and that's how I've seen to get the best results out of it. So one major drawback of this camera is that the lens is softer than Squidward's nose. In fact, it's noticeably softer than most disposables that I've used, but if that's not a big deal to you, then I would definitely recommend picking one up because they're a flavor blast to use. So looking back at the photos, it seems like there's actually a pretty close focusing distance, so maybe I was wrong about it being f8. It seems to be around like a portrait focal distance. So if you're wanting a camera that'll fill that can-shaped hole in your heart, this is for you. And if you're wanting a sturdy daily driver that's suited for all weather, this is also for you. But seriously, I've really enjoyed using this camera, and if you can find one reasonably priced, I'd definitely say pick it up. It's the perfect camera for if you're wanting to have something to just go around taking photos with friends. Or if you can find one with flash, then even better, because then you can actually go and take photos at parties. And pretty much everyone I've shown this camera to, they've absolutely loved it and wanted to take photos with it. So if you have any friends that you want to get into film photography, this might be the tool for the job. Or if you're wanting to fool people on the street that you're enjoying a nice icy cold Fanta, only to then pop your lens and take a great portrait of them. Any of those use cases will be great, and there's so many more use cases that you can use this camera for. Obviously, it's a camera, so you can shoot anything you want with it, no matter what you want to be shooting, or what you tend to shoot, or like to shoot. So thank you for watching. If you want to see more of my work, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram, which is at MIGMedia, and I hope to see you again soon.